Hey guys! So in this lesson, we're going to be going over the filter, envelope, decay, and sustain. Just like the amp envelope, but this is an independent movement. We can sync those together, but this is adding another layer of complexity to your sound. So if you've started from the beginning, you already know about the basic oscillators, the sawtooth, the square. Maybe you've done some research on your own and you know about the sine wave triangles. Um, and then of course there's always the advanced oscillators which we'll get into way later. But with your amp envelope, that's determining the overall loudness of your sound, the contour of it. But the filter envelope adds another layer to that. So right after this intro, we're gonna get into it. Hey guys, I'm Michael Carrillo, AKA Hex Spa, and welcome to my channel. I upload Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can support me by any of the ways on the screen. So let's get into the lesson. I have already watched this, um, and yeah, he's just going over how the filter envelope works. It's no different than the amp envelope, because really, an envelope is an envelope. Almost all ADSR envelopes, attack, decay, sustain, release, will work in the same way. But the cool thing about them about theme is that you can assign them to the amplifier stage of your synth which again is the loudness contour or you can assign them to the filter or other things such as the pitch and have a pitch envelope things like that right now we're going to be assigning it to the filter cutoff so that's your sound and um, we're focusing specifically on the filter envelopes decay and sustain phases so that's if the sustain is all the way up, it's gonna stay bright. There's gonna be no um, movement after the attack phase. And if the sustain is all the way down, then we introduce that decay phase and it goes from however fast your attack is. So if it's a fast attack, it'll be like bow. If it's a slow attack, it'll be like wow. And if it's a fast decay, it'll be like wow. You know what I mean? It'll hold though, if your amp envelope is still happening. So well depending on how low you set your filter cutoff if you set your filter cutoff all the way down it will cut off completely well and it'll almost be as if you have no sustain on your amp envelope but if you have it low it'll be like i said and if it's somewhere in the middle maybe not too much it can be like okay the mouth is a filter for your vocal stuff so it's basically the same thing let's do the challenge Here's your decay and sustain right here, your amp envelope amount, which is basically like, if you have your cutoff here, you'll remember from the, the filter video, I'll link to it. Um, but yeah, this is how much higher it'll go. The attack slider is set to zero. It would, he's not letting us, letting us adjust it right now. Um, but yeah, we can kick it up this far or you know all the way. So it'd be like, wow. And then if it's sustaining, you hold the key, it'll stay. If it's not sustaining, then you release the key and it'll it'll eventually fall back down based on this speed. So here it'd be like, um, that's, is that two seconds? So it'd be like, instant up, wow. So let's try that. It sounds a lot faster though. It's a little bit less than two seconds, but it's two seconds for it to settle in, you know. So it's a little bit. It sounds a little faster, but let's uh, let's go to five seconds. Yeah. So that's that's how that works. And if you don't want it to go up too much, then just a little. But it'll still take five seconds to come back down. It just doesn't go up as much. So it's a much more subtle movement. Okay. Let's do the challenge. That sounds like a really um, a really fast decay. The filter is down some, and I'm not hearing a ton of amp, but yeah, the sustain is down. So let's let's check this out. Here, it's just it's very very short. It's almost it's very difficult to hear, especially on the mix cube. But you can hear just that, just a little. I was listening to mine. I think my 
uh, envelope is too high. Yeah. I'm going to listen on the big speakers. Sounds the same to me. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So the filter cutoff is down. The, uh, the decay is very short and the sustain is down and I don't know how high the amp envelope is. Let's listen. It's pretty high. I mean, compared to how low this is. I don't know if it's 100%, but let's say it's not. Wow. Let's see if we make a little adjustment, see what happens here. I think I, th I think that's too high. I think I think that's it. Let's go down a little. Obviously not that. I don't think these are the same. I think that's the same. Yeah! The filter's not down that much. It's like bow, bow, bow. kind of not too fast. Doesn't go up too much. Whoa. No. We will get this. Too much. Yeah, I like to just check these different values. That's obviously much more of a snap, and that feels right to me. Yeah! Now, that's definitely a much longer decay. I'm thinking five seconds. It is decaying all the way down. How far does it go, though? Pretty low, I'd say. How, how high does it go? Pretty high. Maybe not that high, though. I think there is... His goes lower? Ooh. Longer? Too long. I think we found it. Remember how I was saying that if you bring the filter cutoff down far enough, it's almost like cutting off the amp envelope. Now if I was to bring this, where are we at, 26 to 0, I can't hear it anymore. I think that's it. Pretty fast. How high? Pretty fast, though.
I think that's like two seconds. It's down. It goes pretty high. Goes down kind of low. But not that high, I don't think. I think something's different. Quiz. Which stage of the filter envelope determines where the cutoff moves to after the attack stage is finished? Uh, okay, these questions. Which stage of the filter envelope, any envelope, determines where the cutoff, the target, moves to after the attack stage? So, after the attack stage, it, where it moves to is the decay. Oh. But you can you see you can see my logic. Like the the decay is the phase that determines where the cutoff moves to. Whatever. I understand why it's sustained cuz that's the final destination, but still think I'm right. Which stage of the filter envelope how fast? Okay. If I would have seen that one first, it would have been easier. Which control determines the brightness of the sustain level when its value is set to the maximum? The envelope amount knob. Which control determines the brightness of the sustain level? Ah, I'm here to learn synths, not, not figure out questions. Which control determines the brightness of the sustain level when it's set to its minimum value? The cutoff knob. No. Yes. Yes. Which stage of the filter envelope determines where the cutoff moves to? I remember you. Yeah! Time for another little mini challenge with the entire ADSR envelope on the filter. Let's do it. I'm just going to play it myself. We know our decay amp, or the release for the amp envelope is all the way up. The sustain on the filter sounds down, but not too much, and the decay is kind of long, and I'm not sure... And I think the release for the filter envelope is all the way up because it doesn't sound like it's the same time. Like, let me hold the key. Oops, that's mine. And then let me not hold it. It sounds like it's going faster, so that's that's what I think, okay? Maybe it is the same. Maybe. This is the horn attack he's talking about, so the filter comes up. I don't think it's a second. It comes from pretty low. How high does it go? Yeah. 
Yeah, it sustains, and it goes about like that. Pretty low, though. Let's see. Not quite. I want to check the top. How high does the envelope go? All the way? I think so. You hear how mine doesn't have the same kind of curve? Sometimes, like, how far it goes also determines the, the curve of the thing on the way up, so... That must be right. Uh. Was I wrong? It was way, way down, huh? Am I even hearing a difference here? It doesn't sound that much different to me. Get my head out of the way. It does, it, to me, it does not sound that much different, to be honest, but okay. Here's an interesting one, because the sustain is up, but yet it does have a release, but not a decay. It's a fast release. Short decay. And it's the same, it's a symmetrical. Whether I hold it or whether I tap it. Okay, so there, there is uh, some kind of decay, kind of a slow attack. But not that slow of a decay. Whoa, okay, so we definitely need longer and longer here.
I think that's right. Yeah! Okay, I'm hearing a horn attack. I'm hearing a very short decay. I'm hearing dropped sustain. And uh, I'm hearing some filter. But not that much. What is this? Why? Why is that so weird? You have to hit it just right, but it it does have a long release on it. Why? That sounds exactly right. I guess it's a little longer. Oh. Yeah! Alright, I don't want to listen to the whole um, example. So let's do this other little challenge where we also set the amp envelope. Okay. Sustain is up. Release is down. Um, fill cutoff is pretty down. Sustain is down. Decay is somewhat short. And I think it. I, I don't know. I don't know how much though. I think like this, because it has that little like reverb sound. What? Oh yeah, it's got the horn attack. I think so. I think so. Okay. Okay, long attack. The filter is also happening. I'm thinking it's in the same pace as this here. And I think I think this this is a like a mirrored envelope, so everything's happening at the same kind of yeah. Oh my God! What? Hmm. What is this? My, my attack is too, too fast. And my cutoff is too low. Oh. Strange. longer is longer that's my answer I'm st wait 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 I I really hate to get like those little tiny ones wrong so let me check the, the high frequencies wow 
what happens if I bring it down? I think the, the time values are right. No, I think it's all the way up. So you hear that little boom, that's an indication that the filter cutoff is down pretty low. And also the attack time on the amp envelope is down low. But the sustain is here on the amp envelope and it's down here on the filter. Um, and the attack on the filter is long and it went up pretty high. Not that high, I don't think. And the decay is pretty short. Here, too, is pretty much the same. I think it's the same. Speaker check. See, I'm still getting that, that same low punch. I think it's so. I think that's right. No, that's too high. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, it's tough today. Filter cutoff is somewhat down. It's down a fair amount. I think the release is longer than... Maybe not. I think this is shorter, maybe. Very close. Yeah! Now I'm thinking that the horn attack here is the same for both because we're not getting any kind of punch. Maybe, maybe we are, maybe we are. But the attack is long, it's low. Yeah, it is. It is up. Lower. Hmm. Why is the case sound so short?
Submit. Yeah! Okay, I'm thinking that the this and this and this and this ish kind of it's pretty fast and this and I don't know how the decay was. Let's check it out. Too short. And then you gotta make sure that that uh, amp envelope is long enough. Sounds right. Uh oh, that sounds right too. Mine just sounds a little bit more blunted there. This opens it up some. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god, the group. I think I'm going to need to take a little break. I'm ready for your group. Okay, there's a delay. Sounds like the envelope is, uh, we got like a fifth going on over here with the oscillators. There's definitely some kind of delay. I don't know what it is though. It sounds, um, you know, like that. It's got a short release, it's got a sustain. I'm not hearing a lot of filter envelope. Maybe some, but it's not a ton, that's for sure. Pretty good. But this sounds a little bit more snappy. up too high in the line. No? Hmm. 
Okay, I think there might be a spread on it. I'm not sure what the difference is here. I'm not hearing that they're the same. What am I missing? Okay, no spread. I think that's it. I think that's it right there. Okay, am I missing anything here? Okay, is that right or what? I think, I think it's pretty right. Hint, hint, we're good, yes. So that's like a fifth, way up there though. I don't know if it's some kind of square. Or... I mean, it sounds saw-ish, but this is so high. You gotta think that the, the amp envelope sustain is down. I'm hearing, what, what else am I hear? I think I'm hearing a ramp up. And this and I think it's timed to be the same here so this is like two seconds two seconds two seconds I don't know how far it goes I think I'm also hearing this and I think this might be just two octaves or three octaves and I don't know what else there would be I think down. No, maybe down. It's pretty close, pretty close. Big speakers, big speakers.
I think so. Hint me. Perfect. Two for two. Yeah! That's definitely some uh, doubling and detuning. Like around, I thought 15 cents. What else? I think we have an attack of zero, a sustain of zero, a pretty high cutoff. Kind of not that much envelope. Long release. Might be a five second release. It's like a two second decay. mine quieter. I don't know. This is one of their speakers. This one's tricky. It's got a delay on it.
pretty close, right? Not sure how much more exact I can make that. I think that's about as close as I can get. Oh, the envelope is wrong. Well, it couldn't have been lower, so I guess that's it. I mean... Where did I have mine? Here? Yeah, that doesn't sound right. How about that? Hint? Yes! Yes! Yeah! Two and a half for three. I'll take a 70%. So I think we got some detune on this one too. Hear that? It's wobbly. Maybe like nine cents. I was thinking like three, but who knows. Very knocky, so extremely short decay. Sustain is off. Just, uh, filter cutoff is down. Filter this. Filter that. I'm thinking it might be some kind of like saw wave. Actually, I don't think it's a. I mean, I don't think it's a saw wave. I think it's some kind of pulse. Uh, it might be a fat pulse. Don't know. Might be a medium pulse actually. Something's wrong. Something's really wrong. Something's extremely wrong. No, don't think that's it. I do think it's a pulse of some kind. I do think it's some kind of a medium pulse. though. I don't know how much. What am I missing here? Uh, we gotta make the filter release longer. Maybe the decay too. That's it. Yes! Yeah! Wow, that is some crazy stuff. I'm definitely hearing some of this um, filter mix pulse with some detune, but not much. Three cents each way or one cent each way? It's not much. The filter is down kind of like how it was. The filter attack is long. Decay is down.
Okay, not off to a bad start. Slower? Something slower. And this needs more detune. And we need a longer decay. Is it going higher? Not sure. Sounds close. But this is longer. Oh yes, this is longer too. I think the filter is right also. Yeah. Okay, I think I need a hint. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Last one. Okay, it's got delay on it. Bathos, maybe? Okay, what else? I'm hearing like one of these um, horn attacks here. I don't know, it's not down that much though. Is that like a narrow pulse or something? What else is going on there? We got some detune going. That's for sure. I don't know how much though. Not much. Not much. And what else? Our release is pretty long. I don't know why this is all the way up. Let's try it. Well, that's just totally wrong. Is it not detuned? Oh. Huh. Okay. So what 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 is it? Uh, uh, uh. It's just two octaves. One octave? Different <laughs> different waveform? Can't be detuned also. Is a fifth? Uh, okay. This is weird, man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Mine 
sounds too buzzy. Yes. Home stretch, home stretch. Let's hear the stereo ness of it. Oh, yeah, it's spread out. Listening for the start button. I don't, I think it is on though. I think I think that's pretty pretty close, man. Let's do a hint, and then that'll be it. Yes. Yeah. Very happy. Yeah. Okay. So, if you stuck with me to the end, congratulations to you. You are obviously very obsessed with synths, or with me, which is so sweet. But um, you can hear that adding these extra layers to your synth it makes makes a lot more complicated because no longer are you just worried about how long the synth trails out but now you have to worry about your release phase of your filter envelope is that cutting off right away is your filter down low but your amp sustain high it's it's you know it's parallel motion so it's much more interesting much more difficult especially when you start adding your effects and everything but that's what's going to give you a more evolving sound or, um, you know, a, a different kind of attack, like like a Moog. You know, one of the cool things about Moogs is the filter, the ladder filter, and it's motion. So you're not going to really have much of a Moog without a Moog filter. And really, you can hear anything more when it moves. So you're going to hear the filter envelope moving your filter cutoff or other parameters, as we'll get into later. And um, that's really going to give you that signature sound. So thank you for sticking with me to the end here. Um, subscribe, donate via PayPal, or you can become a patron. Next, I'm going to be doing the On Your Own Challenge for this lesson and getting that out to my patrons this week. Three bucks a month gives you access to these extra trainings. If you want to do a dollar a month, um, I post playlists and links and we can talk, whatever. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you next week. Peace.